Okay, so I'm gonna do this quick video on how to do RR pairs. So RR stands for response and request files. What we're gonna do, we'll just kick some eagles. We'll start from scratch. We'll say uh, add a project. We'll call RR um, recordings. Now I'm doing this for a reason. Um, I want it in a separate project because this is kind of a precursor to a video I want to do much later of where we're gonna to try to tie this into TDM. Now that would be cool. So let's go down to here. What we're going to do is simple. Remember, we go down to, mo uh, I'm sorry, not monitor, create virtual service. These are our pairs. So, this is where you can upload a um, WSDL. And I have one. Maybe I'll do that later. This one is the RR pairs, what we're going to look at in recording. So, we're going to click on this one. We're going to say um, RR uh, recordings, I guess. Okay. Um, oops. We have five spell right. And I've got some we're going to look at. We're going to look at HTTP, and then we're going to drag and drop them. But what we're going to do is we're going to look at them first. I have them maybe here. Yeah. So <clears throat> now, I'm sorry, I moved in my temp folder. So let's see. That that's the parent of them, but I don't want um, I don't want to use the originals. So here we go. That way, if I mess them up, I still have the originals I can convert back to. Now our pairs is really a request and response. There's many ways you can get them. Um, most of the times, are, um, if you've seen the demos, they're like text files. And over here, they're text files too. Um, but if we kind of open this up, I'll just open an IE so you can see it. It really is a response, okay? So in this case, we're doing this add user, okay? Which would be a method. Now, on my request, and there's a set of rules based off of this too. So it's not as straightforward as you think, but the request has the data. And the rules are based upon the naming convention. The per first prefix has like the name, like add user, that would be your method. And notice it has a response of request. Now here, like for operation, for every request, you have an equal response, okay? Now you can have multiples, like I can get operation eight request and then operation eight response, but the next one will be operation eight one, um, so forth, so forth. Like here it has a two, right? So. This one has two responses for its one request, okay? And you have to have the REQ and RSP. So there we go. That should be helpful. So, oops, I think that closed that. I needed those. Uh, bam. So we're just gonna do one, and I'm gonna drag it to the other screen, but all I'm doing is drag and drop them. Okay, there's one, and there's another. All right, we're just gonna do one for now. Say so go. All right, I can enter a description if I want. What is this? Add user RR. Okay, HTTP, we're good. Notice it's it's recognizing exactly what I showed you. So we're good there, all right? So now we just say next. Protocol SOAP, recognize this. Now this should look familiar, right? Because you've seen this for it, and there's one transaction. And there's nothing to do here because there's, um, with soap, it doesn't uh, it doesn't pick up like uh, rested. And here I can say allow a project's good save and deploy, uh, and we'll call you know what for kicks and giggles. Let's go back. Notice that's one transaction. Let's see. Well, I was gonna try to add the others, but we can start from scratch. But I don't want to waste time. But what you'd see is it's since it's one transaction, and this we can just bounce through. We already talked about it. Um, we're going to deploy. We'll call this uh, RR user. Okay. And save. And I don't care about baseline or any of that stuff. I'll talk about those in the other videos. Okay. And it's telling me it's safely done or successfully done. Now, if I go, remember, we've got to go down to our monitor, our VS, VSE. And I can see that it's running. Now, where that would come into play at is if you could hit the web service, uh, I think it'd be localhost and I think it'd be this port. But anyway, if you hit it like through a tool like SOAP UI, you get your data back. And we'll do that in another uh, demo because I want to show you adding it to another product called DevTest. And in that, we definitely have to pull up everything. So, but anyway, I don't want to show you, I wanted to show you how simple that was.